Hello, this is Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to be using these tassels that I received from Craspire. They come in 20 colors and the total is 120. We're going to be using um, rainbow colors on these. I'm, I picked three of each color and I'm hot gluing it to the main of this Dollar Tree unicorn that I got. Craftspire, um, create and inspire your mind to enjoy life. They have a variety of wax seal stamps and other um, crafty items. I'll leave a link to their page and the item that I'm using here. Also, they have a YouTube program and an affili affiliate program. I'll leave those links down below as well. Now I'm adding some Mod Podge to his horn and using some gold glitter that I believe I got at, at um, Walmart. And I'm doing the sides and the top of the horn. Now I'm using my pencil to draw in a simple face, nothing elaborate. And then with my Sharpie, I'll follow that, those lines for the face. And then I'm using some pink that I toned down to make it, give it a rosy cheek. Cover the ends of those tassels. I am crocheting a simple chain as long as the, the main is or, or the tassels, and then I'm going to go hot glue that on to those edges. You can also probably add a ribbon that's the width of that um, unicorn and glue that onto the ends of those um, tassels. I was doing this on a live with Jerry at the Happy Hoarder and I forgot to um, record the stand that's right there. I used some paint stir sticks. I'm not sure how wide it is. And then um, I'm going to be gluing the bottom or the box at the bottom with Jenga blocks. For the base we're going to be using three blocks times ten. And I'm going to alternate the directions of the blocks. It gives it more stability, I think. Plus, it gives it a, a better um, aesthetic look. For the sides, we're also going to do three blocks times five and also alternating 
directions on those. You're gonna need two of those for each side of the, of the box. Here I'm gluing the sides together. And I'm using just regular um, super glue, wood glue from Dollar Tree. And it holds up really good. Once those pieces are dry, I'm gonna glue them together. I'm gonna glue it on top of the base, on both the front and the back. And then I'm gonna do the ends. And those are gonna be all ver um, vertical um, pieces of, of the block. And I'm gonna have to cut one down to fit on the inside of the block. And I use my miter um, shears for that. To stain the piece, I'm using the Craft Smart Barnwood Wax in gray that I got at Michael's on clearance. It's a very cool colors, and you can still see the texture of the wood beneath the stain. Once the stain is dry, I'm going to glue the unicorn to the backer here that I made with the stir sticks and then I'm clipping it down to, um, while it dries. And while that dries, I'm going to be starting to paint the box itself with the same color. This piece lends itself to be painted in any color to, to suit your, your color scheme, your style. Once the box is dry, I'm going to start um, and glue the, the top portion of it. And this box can be stand alone on, the, on a, like a dresser or you could add some hangers on the back to hang it on the wall. If you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, comment below what color would you pa paint your box, and don't forget to subscribe. Here I'm using my rotary tool to make some holes so I can add some cup hooks so you can hang your ne necklaces or bracelets. Um, this can be made even wider if you needed to, just um, make the box bigger or you could leave the same box the size and just add a second row or something. A lot of different options you, you can do with this um, DIY. So wait to the end for some pictures. 
Until next time, be brave, be strong, and create.